Welcome to Raw Online. Today we will discuss about palmar aponeurosis and fibrous flexor sheath. So competency of our topic will be describe and explain the fascia of upper limb, identify and describe fibrous flexor sheath, ulnar bursa, radial bursa and digital synovial sheath. So this deep fascia of hand is thickened at three places like at the wrist it is thickened to form flexor retinaculum that will be a separate class and over the palm center of the palm it is thickened to form a triangular palmar aponeurosis and over the digits this deep fascia is thickened to form fibrous flexor sheath. So the deep fascia of hand is divided into flexor retinaculum at the wrist, palmar aponeurosis at the palm and fibrous flexor sheath at the digits. So coming to the palmar aponeurosis proper, as I told earlier, this is a deep fascia. So this deep fascia of hand at the center of the palm is thickened to form palmar aponeurosis. And it is otherwise known as, it is a degenerated part of a tendon. See here, a tendon is coming from the forearm to the hand. So this tendon is palmaris longus muscle. So it is a tendon of palmaris longus muscle. So this palmar aponeurosis is considered as a degenerated portion of this palmaris longus muscle. And this palmar aponeurosis is going to cover the underlying tendons, long flexor tendons and the blood vessels and nerves. It is going to cover all those underlying structures. And this palmar aponeurosis is a triangular structure with the apex resting on the wrist and the base resting on the root of the fingers. Okay, so this is about the palmar aponeurosis. Here we can appreciate the palmar aponeurosis in a dissected specimen. So this is a dissected hand after removing the skin and the superficial fat, we can see the deep fascia here. See here, this is the triangular palmar aponeurosis. Yes, this is the base and sides and apex of the palmar aponeurosis. So the apex is at the wrist and base is at the root of the finger. Okay, so this is palmar aponeurosis and here we can see the long flexor tendons and these tendons coming from the forearm so this palmar aponeurosis is going to cover this long flexor tendons and these digital nerves and vessels. These are going to arise from here. So all those structures are covered by palmar aponeurosis. Okay. Now coming to the, uh, the parts of the palmar aponeurosis, it is a triangular structure with the apex, base, medial border and lateral border. Okay. So, we will discuss the part of palmar aponeurosis one by one. First, we will discuss about the apex. So, this is a triangular palmar aponeurosis and this is the apex which is a narrow part and it is the proximal part of the palmar aponeurosis. Okay. And as we discussed earlier, it is the this palmar aponeurosis itself considered as a degenerated part of palmaris longus tendon. Okay, so it is the proximal narrow end of the palmar aponeurosis that is the apex and it is going to blend with the flexor retinaculum which is present here. Now coming to the base, base of the palmar aponeurosis, this palmar aponeurosis base lies at the root of the finger I told and it is going to divide into four slips. See here we can see uh, for the index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger, the palmar aponeurosis base is going to divide into four slips and each slip is further divides into two slip and going to merge with the fibrous flexor sheath. Okay, actually all these deep fascia are connected like flexor retinaculum is attached to the proximal part of palmar aponeurosis. Now the base of the palmar aponeurosis is continuous with the fibrous flexor sheath. Okay, 
So now this digital nerves and vessels and you can see the tendon of lumbrical muscle here. All these structure passes between the slips of the palmar aponeurosis. So the medial border of palmar aponeurosis, we can see here the cut edge of medial border. So this medial border continues with the fascia covering the hypothenar group of muscle. That is known as hypothenar fascia. Okay. And this medial border gives, see here, you can see some muscles arising from the transversely running muscle. This muscle is palmaris brevis. This muscle arises from this medial border of the palmar aponeurosis. Okay. And from this medial border, the septa arise, two muscular fibrous uh, septa arises and passes inwards, passing inwards and attach to the fifth metacarpal anterior surface of fifth metacarpal and third metacarpal. Like in the next picture you can see here. So, this is the medial edge of the palmar aponeurosis. This septum, this is a septum I am telling about. So, the septum arises and passes inwards and attached to the fifth metacarpal, anterior surface of fifth metacarpal as well as it passes obliquely and attached to the anterior surface of third metacarpal. Okay. So, this septum, the medial septum is known as hypothenar septum or medial palmar septum and this oblique septum is known as mid palmar septum. Okay. And these uh, septa is going to divide the palm into compartments. <laughs>